Greetings, I am Cross Knight, and this is Let's Play Tenchu Deadly Shadows. Now, this has been on my future to play list for a very long time, and I'm finally getting around to it. I've been playing Tenchu games since the first one. I remember renting the first one when it first came out and being amazed by it. And the series didn't evolve all that much. Um, I really like the second one. The third one I'm not a fan of, and this one ends up being my favorite game. It has the best level design, it has a whole bunch of different moves you can pull off, and uh, the biggest thing that the graphical upgrade game when it came to the PlayStation 2 is that the game is like a lot more playable. As much as I love Tenchu 1 and 2, I can't play them anymore, the controls are too bad. I mean, I've been spoiled by you, you know, walking and climbing and not accidentally falling and tripping on, you know, things while I'm walking up the plain field and the hit detection actually lining up correctly. Um, Tenshu was great for its time, I just can't go back. And while I own the other two, I'm not going to be doing an LP of them, because I, I just can't play them anymore. But this is a great game. Uh, I have not played any Tenshu game after this because there weren't any more for the PlayStation 2, I don't have any other system. But from what I've heard, they they haven't really gotten better. I, I actually saw a newer one that was for the Wii or something that just looked really weird. But, never played it. In any case, I haven't um, played this in a long time. I practiced a little bit, but I don't know how this is going to go. If it goes really, really badly, then I'm going to be doing Deus Ex instead. We'll see. Interesting. Okay. I'm keeping it on default challenge. You can see there's two Kirinai. That means normal mode, so... Let's do normal mode. Let's do this. Countless days have passed since Ayame left her home. As an agent of Goda, she was charged with watching over the lands. More than 300 milestone have passed her by. Billowing smoke, raging fire, a lonely village, pillaged and burned. This is where the path has led Ayame. In a time of war, a burning village is nothing uncommon. However, the bodies among the ashes catch Ayame's eye. A ninja, and another, and another. Intuition, or just a hunch? Without knowing why, she is overcome with a sense of urgency. Ayame rushes into the village. So for those that have kept up with the Tenchu series, this game takes place between Wrath of Heaven and, um... No, it takes place between Tenchu 1 and Wrath of Heaven. There we go. And uh, Tenchu 2 was a prequel, so... I love Tenchu 2, I gotta say. <laughs> Not everyone loved it. It wasn't without its problems, but Tenchu 2 just had a really cool story, I thought. Uh, yep, that's all I got. You unlock different items as you go on, and you can unlock special items if you get Deadly Assassin. I I'm gonna warn people right now, I'm not going to do too great. I'm not gonna kill myself trying to get Deadly Assassin on screen. I'll try, but I'm not going to succeed most of the time. Possibly never. Possibly never. Off-screen, I'll probably go back just so I can get some of the cooler items. But the mainstay of Tenshu and what, how they kind of revolutionized uh, being a ninja is the stealth kills. The main mode of play in this is that you need to keep out of sight and stealth kill people. Or just keep out of sight. What, another cool thing is that you can just complete the mission without killing anyone if you're really slick. That was almost bad. <laughs> uh, there's a whole bunch of other things I wanted to say to set this game up, but I, I can't even remember them right now. It feels like it's been forever LPing. Um, I'm going to try to... Wait, they're talking. Double stealth kill. That's also new in this game. In the other ten shoes, you couldn't kill two people at once. But if they're close, you can get a double stealth kill. There are no triple stealth kills. I probably should have listened to that conversation, but I don't want to lose my chance. 
Um, in addition, you have to be careful because th this is also the first game where the enemy can stealth kill you. Though there's only two circumstances where that happens. And one of them is unfortunately kind of easy. Um, yeah, there's more I have to explain for people who haven't played before. You see there's that number that's increasing? Uh-oh. I really thought he'd be here. I don't know where he is. Uh, there's a number that's called the Kai meter. The larger it is, the closer an enemy is to you. So that's how I'm telling where people are. So right now it's at 32. Uh, when I get farther away, it gets smaller. When I get closer... Uh oh Someone saw the body. Um, the Kai meter, when that happens, there's an exclamation point and question mark. That means the guards know that something is up. You can't stealth kill them in that situation. When it's a blue question mark, they have no idea that you're here. Ah, you saw the body. That's what happened. Um, uh oh You can still turn around. Whoosh. Um, if there's a yellow mark, like a caution sign, that means they sort of see you, but they they don't know it's you yet, because you're partially hidden. So you gotta watch out for that. I'm collecting scrolls. Scrolls unlock different abilities. You get scrolls by stealth killing people, not through regular kill. Regular kills are where you just, like, they see you when you, like, slash the crap out of them in melee. You want to avoid that as much as possible. Um... And how do I explain? There's also um, this weird timing thing that they added that I actually like. Whenever you've seen the screen go negative, like the colors invert, that means that I timed things correctly. All right, if I can do this right, I can get them both. Whoosh! Now you just saw my Kai meter had like golden light. That means that uh, I timed it perfectly going in. You have two opportunities to time it perfectly. One is if you t attack at the exact right time. That may, That's based on distance, basically. Um, and then you get the golden thing. You get more scrolls for doing this. If you don't time it perfectly, then there's another time that you can make it perfect by hitting the attack button again at the exact right time. I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's hard to explain without, like, people playing it. It's not going to have that much... Oh, just, I don't want you to see me. Uh, you're looking away. Hope there's no one over there. There wasn't. Also, you'll notice there's... Okay, that was a little bit <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, depending on what angle you go on them, there's a different stealth kill. There's a stealth kill for getting them from behind. There's a different stealth kill from getting them from the left. One from the right. One from the front, which is hard because you have to do that fast because they're going to see you. And one from jumping. I don't think I'm forgetting another one, but there might be another one. Probably not, though. Tenchu 2 actually had an additional one where you had, if you were crouching, you got another one, so it actually has more stealth kills than any of Tenchu's. I don't know why they decided to get rid of that. This is going to be tricky. I'm probably going to get seen because I'm going to try something stupid. Did, did you stop? You stopped. That was unexpected. Eh. He almost... Ah, okay, there is one I'm forgetting. Uh-oh, someone is going to see me. No, he didn't see me. <laughs> he just saw the body. Uh, if you're on an uneven plane, there is also a stealth kill. Which, uh, the Tetsu 2 didn't have, that's actually a very good thing to do, because otherwise it causes this really weird collision detection problems, so instead they just made one for uneven planes. You see nothing. Nothing. You looking away? Yes. Haha! <laughs> Crust blades. Now what else? There's probably more that I'm forgetting to explain about the mechanics here, because I'm sure there are people that haven't played this before. Um, there's also double jump for increased height. You can hang onto ledges. There's a grappling hook, which I haven't used yet. Where are you? Let's see. Alright. Someone's closer to this way, because the number's getting bigger as I go that way. I'm going to stand up here and hope no one can see me. Or I'm going to fail at standing up. Okay. Alright, I guess this is the time to use the grappling hook just to show it. The fact that I can't seem to get up there for my life. That lets you get up to things. Or it doesn't. Or you just fall like a jackass. That could also happen. Alright, there's someone over there, but screw it, I'm ignoring them. 
Um, water's dangerous because it makes noise unless you're crouching and you can roll through it. Uh, noise does matter. If they hear you, they'll they'll get the uh oh. Someone over. Uh, that's the first time I've been spotted. No use running. That's too bad. I would have gotten I would have gotten uh, Grandmaster, but I screwed up. Oh well, it happens. Why, Futaba? Sorry, old man. Boss's orders. <gasps> Kuroya. Kuroya? Is that who did this? <sighs> Futaba! Elder! You! You did this! You killed everyone! <laughs> You don't look dead. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Look, I doubt you're gonna believe anything I say. So let's just get this over with. Boss battle. Um, this is the first boss, but I have been killed by her before. Um, what's block? Okay, good. <laughs> that would be good to know. Um, the ultimate weapon for all boss fights, though, is a weapon that you start out with, though. Because the bosses just aren't equipped to handle them for some reason. Uh, Caltrops. C uh, come over here. Oh, Caltrupt. <laughs> you just gotta be careful that you don't step on them yourself. Like that just happened. Um, oh, there's. I, I thought I only dropped three. Caltrops. Um, but the thing is, they're vulnerable when they're bouncing around like that. So, vulnerable... Don't step on it yourself, do a full combo. And that's it. Does the name Kuroya mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Not that I tell you anyway. Huh. Finish me off! Got no reason to. To be honest, I'm a little busy at the moment. Maybe next time, kid. You dare dishonor me like this? Damn it. Damn! Alright, let's see how I did. Uh, that doesn't look too good. Expert Ninja, that's the one- Damn it! if I just didn't get spotted, that's... That angers me. <laughs> the amount of items that you get, and the type of items that you get- Wow, I got a whole bunch of stuff- are dependent on the ranking that you get. But if you get Grandmaster, you get a super special extra awesome weapon. This is also the first Tenchu game without Rikimaru. And the reason for that is because of the, the events that happen in Tenchu 1. Which I won't spoil, as if anyone's going to find Tenchu on. Maybe you'll find an LP of it, who knows. Wall run. With this technique, ninjas can jump toward a wall, then continue to run up the wall. It requires great legs, stomach, and even back muscles to keep balance and perfect this technique. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a triple jump that only works when you're against a wall. It's pretty useful, I gotta say. Like, there, I think I'm gonna do the next mission. Might as well, even though I have not practiced this mission at all. Defeat, sudden and painful farewells. The road ahead leads only to revenge. Rin steals her will. Next on Tenchu Fatal Shadows, departures. Evil will perish in a flash of crimson. Friends, homes, and fields destroyed. A hole in her heart. Naught is left but a charred shell. The flames burn her eyes and lap at the sky. Looking skyward, 
soot touches her face, a reminder of her loss. The skies slowly drift into a deep black as the flames die. The girl can only stand quietly and watch the darkening sky. Her face streaked by tears, she swears an oath of vengeance. But first, she must bid farewell to her loved ones. For now, she can only weep for them. All right, and it, this story alternates back and forth between Ayame and Rin, who is the ninja that I just fought in that boss battle. The story is a lot more about Rin than it is about Ayame. Now, Ayame is an Azuma ninja. The Azuma ninja clan is a ninja clan that is followed throughout Tenchio. Colored rice is so dumb. I don't know why anyone would want that. Um, yeah, take some more shurikens. We're good. Uh, Ayame and Rin unlock items separately. So the items that you unlock as Ayame are not transferred over to Rin. And they also have different items. They share a lot of items, but there are a few items that are exclusive to either of them. They also have completely different moves, uh, completely different stealth kills, and they feel very differently. Even more so than Ayame and uh, Rikimaru do in the other games. Futaba. Rin. Rin. Futaba! Looks like you're on your own now. You'll be all right. Follow that passage. You should be safe that way. Come with me! I'd love to, but I can't. Go on without me. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Futaba. Rest now. So young and innocent. Let him live. What? You are the one who said to kill everyone in the village. Futaba! Fine, then. Show yourself, Ranzo. What should we do about that other Kunoichi? Lure her to Hagogake. See just how troublesome she is. Hagogake, eh? Sure. Shinogi, make sure Ranzo doesn't have too much fun. Sure thing. <sighs> You're no fun. Okay, so I just, um... This is my second attempt. <laughs> I I don't know if I, I mentioned that it's possible for an enemy to stealth kill you, and I was I was moving along, and an enemy stealth killed me because I did something stupid. But yeah, hopefully it'll go better this time because I practiced at least the beginning of this now. Look, okay. Put a dead. That stealth kill looks a lot cooler if you do the timing correctly. With Rin, if you do correct timing, then you get that x-ray effect that I got on the first one. How did he see me? I guess he was already looking here. I should have... Ah-ha, you fell off. Although the guy fell off last time and it ended badly for me, so that might not be a good thing. Uh... Where'd you go? It's probably directly below me. Yep. Wham! Perfect timing. Uh-oh. There's someone... someone in the area. Oh, he's gonna see the body. 
Unless I take care of him really fast. Come here. <laughs> now you don't need to move the body in most cases. Uh, you can just... Just don't be around the body, and you'll be fine. The enemy will be alerted, but it's not going to count against your score. Uh, but this is actually as far as I got last time. These two guys totally destroyed me. That guy fell down there, totally screwed up the rhythm, and I got I got killinated. But now that I've taken care of one of them, it should be okay. I just got to take care of this jerk. I like Ren. She controls... Uh, later on, she gets some really awesome moves. Plus, her stealth kills are great. Ayame, however, is set up for fighting multiple opponents much more effectively. Rin is more, um, do massive damage to one opponent. I have a whole bunch of shurikens. Alright, so this part I haven't practiced. Hopefully I won't get stealth killed again. There's an item called the Ninja Rebirth, I think. Um... It's, it's kind of required, as far as I'm concerned. There are no save points in this. A level lasts a level. If you die, you have to start from the beginning of the level. Generally, the levels aren't that long, but there are one or two that have death bits, which is why I really hate Tenchu 3. Way too many death bits. Yeah, like, it was absolutely ludicrous. The level design was terrible. I always got lost. Huh. Just need, uh, ten scrolls for the first move, I believe. And we got ten scrolls. And I don't know why I'm picking you up. I don't need to. Uh, yep. Yeah. Can't see anyone. Someone's close. Woo! <laughs> that was almost bad, but we salvaged it. We got it done. hi -o! Getting all types of scrolls here. Well, if this last part doesn't go horrifically bad, I should get a decent score. One guy there, one guy there. There's two guys left, I think. I don't want to be too exposed on this bridge. Uh-oh. Now, you can go into water without making noise if you're crouching. But don't do it uncrouched. Problem is I can't see my opponent. I do not like that. Well. Whoa, damn it. That's exactly what I was trying not to do. If he walks on that bridge, he's gonna see me. But he didn't. And I can't climb up here for some reason. Alright, dropping down. Uh, see, now I'm gonna get a terrible score. Uh, grab you. Might as well use a few items since I brought them. Uh, and they're not gonna, I don't think they get returned to you if uh, if you don't use them. Where are you? You're over there? You're all the way over there. There's plenty of use running. No? Just waiting for the... Yeah, I got away all right. Where are you so I can at least get another stealth kill? Please don't tell me you're still in water. That'll make things hard. Uh-oh. There she is. Hello. Really? Everything was going great. You know that? Then you had to pee in my Kool-Aid. Huh. <sighs> I just heard some video stuttering. I hope everything is okay recording-wise. Look good. So to recap, in case you haven't been totally paying attention, someone just essentially wiped out her clan. 
and she thinks it's Ayame. Tears were a cool effect. Come on, don't be thug. All right. Professional. She has different rankings than uh, Ayame. Different titles. They're the same, but, you know, different titles. I think that's the equivalent of Expert Ninja, so I got two Expert Ninjas. Ooh, the gun and the cannon. <laughs> she has all types of fun items. All right. Um, yeah, let's see this. Fangard. Fang Guard. This technique allows you to parry enemy attacks. It requires speed, accuracy, and strength. A ninja who performs this technique incorrectly will put herself at a disadvantage and possibly even be killed. This is a guard break move. It's a counter, actually. Um, very useful if you do it correctly, which is very hard, so I generally don't bother. Um, but yeah, if you're really skilled, it's a great thing to use. I think from now on, I'm probably only going to do one mission per episode. Um, but I, what's really cool is that they have previews at the beginning, because they're acting like it's an actual show, so I can end every episode with a preview. I, I just think that's amazingly cool. But alright, I'm Cross Knights. On the next episode... Ayame follows the Kuroya to the village of Hakogake. There, she faces the leader of the Kuroya, Shuzo. Next on Tenchu Fatal Shadows, Secret Encounters. Evil will perish in a flash of crimson.